everybody welcome back to another video hello everyone welcome back to another video the tea on mpd and relationships hello to all of my new subscribers and new followers hello everyone welcome and to my tribe and family at large listen y'all welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video of course y'all know Every time we drop a video on the channel, listen, I have to always mention our Thursday. Listen, Thursday, uh-uh, Thursday night live streams, y'all. This is where it all goes down. This is where we take our healing to wholeness. I'm going to tell y'all something. Thursday nights is where it's at. You don't want to miss it. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's a lot of the nuggets that we're missing, you know, in the day-to-day -day, uh, videos. I can't pack it all into the videos, but on Thursday nights, I get to expound on that. You understand what I'm saying? I get to really talk about it, give you some good nuggets, some things to take you from healing to wholeness. Amen. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Of course, y'all know, every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day 2.1k plus 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 all right if you rocks with your girl if you rocks with your girl if you rocks with your girl y'all hit that like button okay somebody hit the like button for you y'all gotta hit it for somebody else all right y'all pay it forward family i love you all thank you so much all right y'all so let's jump into the topic of this video all right i gotta talk about this what does it feel like okay what does it feel like uh, when a narcissist loses your type of supply? This is why they say that, this is why the narcissist said that you tried to destroy them, okay? Y'all probably don't know this, but narcissists, when they went around talking about, you know, talking about you telling all of those lies on the smear campaign, this was part of it. You know, they told everybody that you tried to destroy them, that, you know, you tried to, uh, you tried to take them down, you know, you tried to do this to them, you know, you lied to them, you did all kinds of things. You, uh, you said that you were somebody that you were not, you know, all of the things that they were. Yeah, that part. They said that you were all of those things, you know? So I want to talk about what it actually, this is why they tell people on that smear campaign that you tried to destroy them because what it feels like, I want to describe to you what it feels like when a narcissist loses your type of supply. Let's go. So first of all, let's, let's go ahead and put it out there like this. A, uh, when you're talking about a narcissist, you're talking about a person that basically has low self-esteem. They have low self-worth. Um, if they have grant, if they have that grandiose, like if they're um, a grandiose narcissist, all of their grandiosity is built upon their ego, just like the covert. Okay, grandiose narcissists are actually not that bad if they can keep su you know suitable supply. They're not that bad. The culverts are the worst, okay? Because those are like your slithering snakes in the grass. You don't even un you don't even know that you're actually dealing with a narcissist until you later on, you know, after they've really gotten their, you know, their hooks in your soul. So basically, you know, you're dealing with a person that has these types of, uh, you know, these are their characteristics. You know, they uh, they don't believe in themselves. They are connected to all ego. They're not even connected to their the true selves. OK, the truth of who they are is non-existent. This is why they're such chameleons. All right. So I'm laying this framework so you can see exactly what you brought into the situation and why they actually felt like you tried to destroy them when you left them. OK, so they are like a shell of an individual that all they do is change masks for the person that they're with or the situation that they're in. That's all they do. So. When when you're dealing with a narcissist, because they don't have that emotional component, meaning the fulfillment of, of who they are by being connected to their true selves, they don't have that, right? So you're dealing with a shell of an individual, right, that is pretending to have it all together, 
and they're pretending to be this kind, this loving person. Because remember now, this ego shows them how to basically love bomb you, how to, you know, you know, basically just romance you, do all of that stuff. It shows them how to do that to get you to a place. Y'all hit that like button for me, please, to get you to a place where where they can now start to extract and pull things from you. OK, now they're pulling from you the entire time. But once they get you in that love bomb stage and they begin to put the hooks in your soul, what you're experiencing, this is where you this is where you all will probably say that even from the beginning, you felt like it was draining. But at first, you didn't realize that it was so draining because you were on that dopamine high, you know, from all of the Oh, you're so wonderful. You're so this and you're so that. Yeah. So what happens is. When you get past that, the, the narcissist is a shell of an individual. Now, during like midway through this love bomb stage, they start to siphon more and more energy out of you. OK, and so you start to feel more and more tired. But the narcissist is feeling more and more vibrant. And I know y'all going to testify in the comment below in the comments below, but this is what happens. They start pulling more and more of your energy because by this time, you've probably had sex with them. You've probably uh, been intimate with them more than one time. And so this is where it solidifies that demonic soul tie. So now they have a direct connection to your soul. I'm teaching on this video. They have a direct connection to your soul, which is your proximity of intimacy. And that's the heart of who you are. OK, so they're pulling all of this. And once once you come together with them like that spiritually, it's not even a, a, a fight anymore. You're just giving it to them. You're now at this point. This is where you recognize that you were all in. Yes, you were all in. But watch this. Your all of your energy is now filling up this empty shell. Watch this. I'm, I want you to I want you to really see this. It's filling up that empty shell it's coming in i mean you're you're just you're just giving it all over to them by this time now they're hitting you you're getting ready to start hitting the devaluation stage and they're not doing everything that they sh they were doing at first but then you're going harder you putting your foot on the gas because you're like uh-uh i know this is my dream person this is my person for life okay we can't let this go south so you're pouring 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 more into that narcissist <clears throat> at this point they don't even have to work. All they got to do is just show up because you're doing all the work and you're pouring all of your goodness, all of your mercy, all of that into this empty shell. Yes, this is what's happening. You don't even understand the exchange that is happening in the realm of the spirit because now it's a spiritual thing. It's a soulish thing. And because you've connected with them on that level and they don't even have to try anymore. Because you are because you've connected like that and you've bought into the lie that they've sold you now that you are actually just you're you're like a fueling station to them. OK, so now picture that. OK, walk with me. I'm going somewhere. Picture that now <clears throat> for those of you, especially grade A supply, which was the primary supply. Now y'all see how that happened in that in that process where you filled up this empty shell. You complimenting them, you're validating them, you're buying them, you know, gifts. You're you're doing all of these things that they say people never did for them. I mean, you're just giving them everything that no one else ever did for them. They're telling you no one else has ever done this for me, blah blah blah. And I mean, you just think that you're just this wonderful person and you're getting a high off of that and you know, you're just like you're thank you you are just fixing this individual uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm. but baby then you wake up you wake up oh y'all ready y'all ain't ready y'all hit that like button but when you wake up now this shell of a person that was once now not even having to try to pull the fuel from you now you are you are waking up and you're seeing that this is a whole bird and everything that this person told you was a whole lie. 
And I mean, they were nothing like what they presented themselves. And some t sometimes it took a couple of times around that, that mountain for you to really wake up. And then you start to, you start snatching plugs. I mean, you start snatching power grids, baby. This right here is where they, and you start taking the controls back and instituting boundaries. All of that that you fill them up with the compliments, the gifts, taking their trash, you know, taking the uh, disrespect, all of that. Because remember now, all fuel, narcissists will accept any kind of fuel. They'll accept the good fuel. They love the bad fuel too. But when you start to wake up all of everything that you deposited into them, when you start denying them access to that soul of yours, to, that, to your emotions, all of that, and you start instituting the boundaries and saying no 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 and you go ahead and pull up out of that thing this is why they said you tried to destroy them this is literally like you taking the breath out of their existence and bottling it up in a in a bottle closing it up tight and chucking it in the ocean they're like <gasps> literally and and they see they don't see it right then they they, they can't feel it right then because it's like the the uh the frog in the pot theory. You understand what I'm saying? If you put the frog in the pot and the uh, the water is boiling hot, they gonna jump right out. But see, the way that these these demonic entities work in a narcissist, they they it's it's all gradual. See, they don't see that them losing you is going to pull the wind out of their sails. They don't see that because those demonic entities don't let them see it like that. Because remember, the, the entities want to destroy the narcissist too. Okay. It's not about, oh, you, you going to make it out and the narcissist is not, is going to go undamaged and you are going to be just, you know, you're just going to be the only one damaged. No, these entities want to damage and destroy both. Okay. This is the whole pro, this is the whole goal. So they don't understand. And it's almost like, it, they think that they got those secondary supplies, tertiary supplies. They think that that's going to be enough, baby. But when they realize and they get out there mm, and that, that grade A supply is gone, this is why they said you tried to destroy them. Because everything that you poured into that empty shell is now gone. This is why y'all see them running back and back and back. These backwards walking giraffes, I'm going to tell you, you got to be a special kind of stupid to discard and to, and to uh, disrespect a person that did nothing but try to help you and try to see you, wanted to see you come up and wanted to see you win. But this is what happens when you're dealing with an individual that is just, I mean, nefarious, just wicked. You understand what I'm saying? This is part of that law of reciprocity. And you know what, y'all? They have a long line of carnage that comes behind them. And, you know, I would love to say that I feel sorry for him. But you know what? Here's what you have to understand is that narcissists, y'all hit that like button for me, please. Narcissists decide to be wicked. OK, they decide to be wicked. It's not that they have to they have to uh, 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 be like this. No, because there, there are people that have gone through traumatic situations just like them and decided to be different. And decided not to take that out on other people. But see, when you withdraw from that situation and you pull back that fuel, it's literally like you have, I mean, you just took the wind out of all of their sail, that out of the sails. And baby, they are suffering and suffocating without you. And this is why they, they, this is why they are obsessed. This is why you see them coming after you. I mean, can you imagine, can you imagine? And it's like going down. It's like going down into a, a, a it's like going down into a, a ocean. You know, you go on scuba diving or you go on deep sea uh, scuba diving. You need an oxygen tank. You can't go down there without oxygen. See your, your removal, the, re, the, the, the discard, you leaving that situation. It's like that to them. OK, it's like that. See, when you understand, when you understand how they operate and what you poured into them and how this happened and how it is now that you're gone, you should never be. You shouldn't. It should never be a thought in your mind that you're going back to that. 
Let them be over there with, let them get air the best way they can. Guess what? I'm leaving you and the lie you told me. How about that? I'm leaving you and the lie. How about that? Go ahead and eulogize that fantasy that they gave you in the beginning. Because guess what, y'all? They don't change. They don't change. This is why they said you tried to destroy them. Because you took the very essence of light and life, okay, out of their lives. Because before you came, they didn't have that. They were a shell of an individual. And a lot of them told you that. That's why they said they wanted your soul. That's why. Because they thought that that they could they could uh, basically they could jump in your body and be who you are. They wanted you. They were if they could, they would have took your the essence of who you are, and they would have become that. Mm -mm. No. See, when they found out they couldn't steal your personality, they couldn't steal everything you had. That's when they wanted to destroy you. But baby, you took the winds out of themselves when you left up out of there. All right. Now that you're gone, stay gone. All right, family, y'all share this video. Send it over to some folks that can use this information. All right. I love you all and I will see you all healed and whole at the top. I'll see you on the next video, family. Shalom. Peace.